All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Spider Ring Night Trilogy. Um, <laughs> feels weird saying that when this is not a continuation to the playthrough. <laughs> uh, wrong file. Um, we've finished. Well, oh, scratch that. We did not finish. We completed Spyro the Dragon. Let's move on to Spyro 2, shall we? In the world of dragons. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? <laughs> Last one there's a Nork! <laughs> Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. I've got a dragon. Huh? <gasps> Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! I... Crush, kill it, kill it! Go, you imbecile! You ate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here. Take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Okay, so that's the opening cutscene, and with that, the adventure begins. I do have a few nitpicks with the cutscenes in Reignited, um, mostly the second and third game, but we're not here to hear me talk about that. We're here to have a good time, so let's get on with it. Um, uh, I don't have to do any settings because I'm, uh, everything is saved from there. Um, I have to look at this, though. We have a talisman, four gems, and three orbs. Orbs are... I will explain what they are later. This is strict currency gems, um... Red gems equals one. Green gems equals two. Um, purple gems equal five. Um, and then yellow will equal ten. And magenta will equal twenty-five. So magenta replaces purple, which purple replaces blue from the previous game. Let's have a chat with this guy here. Hi, Spyro. Welcome to Glimmer. Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? 
That sounds like a you problem, buddy, but no, in all seriousness. <laughs> if you can find my friend Twitchy, he'll reward you for helping us out. And after that, you can't really talk to him. You can find these flags here, which I enjoy doing for levels I like. Uh, we have lizards here. Um, these are big lizards. You cannot charge them. Uh, you have to flame them. Uh, smaller creatures, you can charge them easily. Look at that. Let's actually talk about that. Um, Spyro's moveset here. I'm a... Uh, it's mostly the same as the previous game. You can charge with square or um, uh, Y on the Switch, or on, if you're on Xbox, uh, X. X on the PS2, the PS4 slash 5 is to jump, uh, while it's B in the Switch and A in the Xbox. Uh, triangle, X on Switch, or Y on um, uh, Xbox, you can look around in this first person mode and circle on PlayStation uh, A on Switch and B and Xbox is I'm a Spire Signature Flame Attack which you can do with this these enemies right here <laughs> or charge them of course um, again if they're big you can't charge them So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna say anything <laughs> about that, but I'm uh... But yeah, if you're new to this channel and if you don't know, um, the original Spyro 2: Rift Rage on PS1 is actually the very first game that I've ever played. It's also the first ever video game I ever. That I, I said that already. Whoops. It's also my favorite game of all time. Like, whenever I'm bored, I just simply go back to this game with how easily I can play it. Um, when I, when it got, sorry, um, when it got announced that these three games would get remastered, I was so excited. Like, my childhood in HD. <laughs> Getting this Crash Bandicoot treatment, I'm, uh... I like Crash as well, though... I didn't grow up playing the trilogy as much, because I didn't own them, uh... Well, I, I definitely own Crash 3, because I... Did, in fact, own them, uh... Piece of the cover art, I'm, uh... With the jewel case, I'm, uh... The one that hold, held the disc, um... So there's that, um, but I did not grow up playing Crash 2 or Crash 1. It, like, the f Crash games I pretty much grew up playing were the f not so fan favorite ones, uh, Crash Bandicoot Purple. The GA ones are solid, but they're not really talked about that much. And then, um, uh, of course, Crash Twin Sandy is infamous, and you already know what people think about with the Wrath of Cortex, but I'm uh, when Spyro got announced, I was, I immediately jumped on the hype train, I was making sure I played this when it first came out. And honestly, I'm not disappointed, I'm, uh, like, Toys for Bob did an amazing job. Hopefully they can make a Spyro game, because we've been waiting for five years now, um, but enough with that, um, uh, let's talk to this. Barry over here. Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. So yeah, Zoe is pretty much the checkpoint of this um, uh, game. Uh, when you zap her, she will give you um, uh, a checkpoint. Um, uh, also, not many people liked her. Well, her original design, anyway, since they, re they redesigned her a lot after, but honestly, I like it. She's cute. <laughs> like, 
Honestly, the redesigns in this game, like, chef's kiss. Like, they did it perfectly. Like, again, I mentioned this before, but look at Spyro. This is the best Spyro-looking Spyro we've had. Uh, his model, anyways, since some, uh, Spyro 3. Like, don't get me wrong, like, honestly, I'm in the minority who likes Spyro's design on Treasure Dragon Play, but this one, though, like, it captures him perfectly. <laughs> okay, we're gonna talk this dude. These right gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders, and it looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Okay, so we can't climb. We actually learn new abilities in this game, and we actually do have to backtrack at some of these levels. However, um, I'll mention this later. We actually don't have to backtrack for this one. I'll Show that off later, though. Um, we're gonna ignore this bear over here I'm, uh, for now. I'm, uh... And go down here because we have a bit more enemies. Um, unlike Spiral 1, you don't get gems when defeating enemies, which, in my opinion, is better. <laughs> because they get really chaotic um, uh, sometimes when you're trying to get gems and can't find them, uh... Especially in a certain level in a certain Spyro game that <laughs> people want to forget them up, but I won't get into that. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this big bear with, uh, a money bag. You must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. And his name is actually Moneybags, huh? Nah. You'll have to pay up sooner or later. It's the only way across. I have to look after my <clears throat> Avalar's financial well-being. You know. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Back again, eh? And with plenty of treasure, I see. Would you like me to open the bridge? I won't even increase the price. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Moneybags is... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mention this right now, I'm uh... He's an infamous character in this franchise. You either hate him or you love him. <laughs> Actually, no. You either hate him or you love him or you're in between. <laughs> I'm in between. Like, I like him, but sometimes he can be a jerk. Still here? Why don't you help the gem cutters? And they'll show you the way to Summer Forest. To get a good look around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. I already explained. Oh my god. <laughs> I honestly wish there were. Like, I honestly wish there was an option uh, to turn off from um, uh, tutorials. <laughs> Believe it or not, they actually have done that before, um, uh, in, um, uh, Season of Flame, and contrary to what negative... Okay, bleh, sorry, that's not what I wanted to say. Contrary to what people say, um, something I never understood, um, one of Spider Electric Dragonfly's crit criticisms that a lot of people give is... The fact that um, uh, Sparks gives you a whole bunch of tutorials. Some people actually don't know. You can actually turn that off. <laughs> okay, we have this room here. I'm on. We're gonna collect these things. Uh, we're not gonna talk to this bozo over here yet, though. I'm, uh, we're gonna save that for later. Okay. <sighs> And this is the last enemy here.
Also, in case you're wondering, I'm uh, what the remaster soundtrack sounds like. It sounds like this. Actually, I'll, I'll let you guys take a listen. Sounds like that. Uh, I keep it on. I'm a original because no offense to the amazing composers who compose the remaster soundtrack. Like most of them are amazing, but I just prefer the original. Like Stuart Copeland is amazing. <laughs> like he even actually um, composed the opening theme of this game on uh, the entire trilogy. Like, what you hear in the title screen is what you hear is, um, uh, Stuart Copeland's own work, um... We'll worry about those gems later, but for now, um, uh... We have a portal here, um... Defeat a certain amount of enemies and you can actually open up this, um, uh, power-up gate right here. What this one does, uh, let's let this NPC tell us. Great. The Superfly power-up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Alrighty, uh, this is a one-star difficulty. It shouldn't be too hard, Oma. This is what people wish Spyro can do, um, uh, all the time. Uh, fly infinitely, um... I don't want him doing that, in my opinion. That defeats the whole purpose, in my opinion, of Spyro. Oh, that's beautiful. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Also, the voice acting in this game is amazing. Like, they did an amazing job with the voices. <laughs> okay, so a few things I forgot to mention on the uh, Spyro's moveset. Um, press the jump button twice and you can fly. And added in this game, if you press triangle, he will do that on um, a uh, little hover you see there. And it gives him an extra boost. That would have fixed a lot of issues in Spyro 1, but... Of course, they wanted to keep things true to the original, um, uh, And honestly, I don't blame them. But yeah, back with the designs, uh... Amazing, like... Alora, I didn't like originally, but... Her new design has grown on me a lot. So close. Okay, that's how you actually can um, uh, do this in a um, uh, mission without backtracking. You can actually do it in this version, like, unlike what the wiki said. Actually, it doesn't even say that anymore. I edited that <laughs> a few months ago. There we go. <laughs> See, you can do this in this version. Great! You've got the Superfly power up active. Now you can light the gem lamps in this cave. Excuse me, Rue. I was trying to grab gems, but uh, whatever. Okay, this is two star. This is a little more difficult, but I'm uh, still should be pretty simple. You can actually um, uh, exploit this with um, uh, a certain power that you get later in the game. I almost messed that up completely, but whatever. <laughs> Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. 
For a while, I was afraid we were gonna have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here, somebody mix this orb in with the baseballs. Ironically, today's Yankee game got canceled. Not to take this video, but it got canceled because of freaking wildfires in Canada. Anyways, I didn't even mention what these are. These are orbs. Uh... <laughs> These are your orbs of this game, as I usually am, uh, compare some things to. I'm, uh, like, I'm, uh, the medallions in Poi, or the timepieces in, um, uh, I had in time. Of course, I didn't compare, um, uh, the Power Stars to, um, uh, orbs, because Power Stars are the orbs' grandfather, basically, with, I guess, Jiggy's being, um, uh, the father. <laughs> but, um, uh, we're not done here yet, actually. We have one more area to go through. I'm um, high jump. 68, okay. Well. Ah, then, uh, we have another gem cutter over here. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Alrighty, hit the lizards, blah, blah, blah. This is a, um, uh, one-star difficulty, um, uh, also, hello, Sir Sparts. <laughs> nice shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. Alrighty, um. Alright, one more thing. I didn't even mention, um, uh, of course, the le my least favorite redesign is probably, um, uh, the professors, but, again, okay, it's decent, uh, And then, of course, the person who needed a redesign the most, Hunter. I think they did him justice. Also, I missed uh, a few gems here. Uh, that's probably inside. I'm gonna. I can wait for that, to be honest. Uh, also, I, why does he not go up the whirlwind anymore? <laughs> you can spit pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. Alrighty, I'm up. There we go. <laughs> All right, and of course you, you can press triangle, Emma, and to hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. And Emma, um, uh, re talk with the. En of course, I'm missing one singular gem. Uh. We talk with the NPCs. Uh, yeah, it is pretty far because you don't want to accidentally talk to Bouncer again. Um, he moves. Okay, then uh, I don't remember moving in the original. Oh, see what I mean? I remember moving in the original, but I guess he does. Also, these lizards in this version actually look like lizards, unlike in the original where they look like otters. <laughs> okay, where did I miss this one, Chad? Okay, it's outside here somewhere. Oh, did I miss it in... I hope I didn't miss it up there, I actually... Might have to actually... Okay. The way Sparks is pointing, I probably missed him outside. Uh... Okay, can you actually get him from here in this version? Because I know in the original it's kind of hard to actually get him. From down here. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed the gem outside and not up there. I don't like that sparks pointing in here. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, uh, where are you? Uh, where is he? Hold on. My fool, where is he? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Okay, one more. 
And this one's definitely gonna be the hardest one. Yay! You've saved my crop of gems from the lizards! Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. But no, that wasn't that hard at all. <laughs> Granted, it's one star difficulty. Makes sense. You can have as many rocks as you like. Okay, so yeah, you can pick it up with the rocks again, but we're not gonna do that because there's no point. I'm gonna check outside one more time. Because there's no way I could have missed a gem in that area. Oh, I don't like this. Yep, I did. <laughs> oh, well. That's all the gems. We're not done, however. We have one more item. Uh... Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Alrighty. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. That is 100%. Step through the portal next to me to go to Summer Forest. There are 14 talismans in this game. Uh, there's 64 orbs and 10,000 gems. Uh, talismans are required to beat the game. Um, not every level has them, but they are required to beat the game. Just like crystals and Crash Bandicoot. I'm, uh, as you can expect, uh, we are getting all this, so this will be a 100% playthrough. Anywho, let's... We've been semi-style, I guess. Fly through the portal. You're actually getting a... Uh... to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi! I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah! They gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? Boom, roasted. If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. No, and as I was saying before I got interrupted, um, uh, they actually have you see that um, uh, cutscene of Spyro actually flying back to the homeworld. They actually didn't have that in the original. But, um, that's gonna do it for this part. Uh, I will see you guys next time for, um, uh, when we actually tackle on this homeworld of Summer Forest. 
See you guys then.